Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can export the Confluence pages into the Word or PDF format. The next thing that we are going to learn is how you can export the whole space that is there in the Confluence for any specific project into a PDF format, XML format or HTML format. We'll also understand why the exporting of the space in different formats is important and what is the relevance of that. So let's get started. Now, before we move ahead, the first thing is to export a particular page, right? So for example, you have created a page which has certain details. So what we'll do is we'll go to the space and in the space, we'll go to Academy, RCV Academy Knowledge Base, where I have created a page. And this page is the impact assessment for the customer. So if we go to the customer impact, customer impacting change process, right? So impact assessment. Now this particular page, say for example, we have provided all the details here and we do not want to share this particular link. We want to export it as a Word document or PDF document and share that with the wider audience. So it is very, very simple to export it. So simply go to the more actions in the right hand side and go to the export and you will get exporting options as export to Word or export to PDF. Okay, so if I click on export to Word, it will simply download the file in the uh, relevant location, right? So I can go to the folder directly here and you can see that it has downloaded the file customer impact assessment file there. Okay, now say for example, I want to export it as the PDF. I'll do the same thing, export as PDF and the PDF will be created and you can download the PDF. Now I, I will click on download PDF and the PDF has been exported, right? So you can see these two files have been exported. So if I open the Word document here, you can see that the whole template with all the information properly formatted has been exported to the Word document, which I can share with the wider audience of my project team or the stakeholders. If you go to the PDF file, that is also very well formatted that you can directly go ahead and share, right? So that's how you will export the pages from the Confluence. Now, the second part of this tutorial is exporting the complete space. So whatever content is there in the space, how you can export that whole content as a PDF. So many times you would uh, notice that you go to the home page and say, for example, I go to the space, I select a space and I follow the same steps. So I go to the ellipses here and I say export and export to Word and PDF, right? I am getting the options and you might think that this will export the overall space content, but that's not how it will do. If I'll say I'll click on export to PDF, it will still just export that particular page. So if I open this PDF now, right, you will see that it is just RCV Academy knowledge base with no information there. Okay. So in order to export the whole space, what we need to do is we need to go to the space and then go to the space settings. Say for example, I want to export everything that is there in the RCV Academy knowledge base. I'll go to that particular space and go to space settings. And in the space settings, you have this content tool. So click on content tools. Under the content tool, you have this export tab here. So click on export. Under export, you have different export formats. So you have HTML, you have XML, and you have PDF. So now say for example, you want to export it as a PDF. You select the PDF and go ahead and export it. Before I export the PDF and explain you about the details, I would like to mention that if you say, for example, you want to export the whole content as HTML, files and then you may want to host it as a static website. So you simply select HTML, it will export the files in the HTML format and you can host it as a HTML website, static website. If you want to import, so for example, I want to export this whole space and then import it further in Confluence, right? Or re-import in Confluence. Then I will export as an XML and then you can use that exported file to import it later within Confluence. Then in the PDF, every content that is there within this particular space, all the pages will be exported in the PDF format. So I'll select the export as PDF, click on next, and let's see how this PDF will look like. So you can select here in the PDF option, you have the normal export, the custom export, right? So if you select normal export, it will, you know, uh, include generate a PDF for each page. Uh, it will exclude blocks, comments and attachments. Uh, you can customize it. So you can click on custom and then you can choose 
which pages you want to export or you want to skip so for example i do not want to import this particular page i can skip that okay in the custom i have that option to select and deselect then if you want to include the page numbers select this particular checkbox include page numbers and this will add the page number at the bottom of every page so if i click on export now it will create the pdf and it will give me a link to download that in few seconds so you have to bear uh, it depends how big your space is it might take a while if you have a lot of pages in the space so it has done uh, it for me it's done it is like 28 seconds and now i can go ahead and download this pdf so let's see what the pdf looks like for the whole space so if i go ahead and open this pdf you will see that I have this PDF generated with the table of contents there and if I scroll down I can go to any of the sections there so if I scroll you can see that this whole space with all the contents that are there along with the pages are available in this particular PDF file right so this is basically how you will export the whole content of a space into a PDF file you go ahead you export as a xml if you want to re-import that particular space you export as an html if you want to host those as a static website or share you know basically html export will help if you want to have a static website for the content but if you are using confluence anyways you won't need it but there, there is an option to host that content to the external users if you want to right you can design everything within confluence export as an html and then host it as a static website so these are some of the export options now one more thing i want to cover is about this title so you'll see that this uh, title is there and then header is there for the pages and then every page has the footer as well okay so let's see how these header and footer are being configured so if you go to the home page again so to that same space what we'll see is say for example we are here on this space so whenever you are exporting the pdf uh, or the whole space as a pdf you can set up the title header and footer for each you know page uh, for the pdf that is being exported so that header and footer will be included in that particular pdf for the space so here in order to set up that we just need to go to the space settings and in the space settings you will go to the look and feel and in the look and feel that's where i have gone to the pdf layout and set up that title header and footer so by default this will be blank so basically you can edit it right so by default it is not there so i have edited it and in entered the title so if i say for example i remove this header footer and title and save then it won't have that title header and footer in the exported okay the other important thing is that here you will see that this is basically the look and feel at the space level okay so this is so i have set it up at the global level and the space level so i'll disable at the both levels so this is so save it and i'll show you how you can configure the header footer at the space level and the global level so if a space has the header footer so let me go to the global settings and the global settings let me remove the layout header and footer okay so that's the problem there the title was coming from the global settings so i'll save it now here okay so now you can see that if i go to the space right so by default these header footer and title for the pdf export will be disabled you can set it up at the global level so if you set it at the global level all the spaces within your confluence instance will have that title header and footer when you export the space into the pdf format if your space has specific title header and footer for the pdf so say for example your space settings if in the space settings you have under look and feel you have the title header and footer specified so here say for example you have already specified the title header and footer at the space level the space title header and footer will be given precedence over the global title header and footer okay if the space doesn't have the title header and footer so, so for example in this case i won't specify any title header and footer at this space level 
I'll go to the global level. So go to the cogwheel and go to the look and feel in the PDF layout. I will edit and I will specify the global PDF layout. And here, let me say RCV Academy global title and then global header and global footer. So once I save it now, because this global title header and footer has been set up at the global level, if I go to the space now, any of this space, basically, I will have that global title PDF title. If I go to the space settings, look and fill, and then in the PDF layout, I'll be having that global title header and footer available for this particular space. You can see that it is coming from the global settings. It doesn't matter which space you go now, it will be available to all the spaces unless you override that for that particular space. So I'm in the documentation demo space. I will go to the space settings and in the space settings, let me show you that it is available there as well. So in the look and feel, in the look and feel, you will go and see the PDF layout and in the PDF layout it should pull the global title header and footer you can see that right now say for example in this space settings I want to export this whole space so I'll go to the content tools I'll show you that this title and header and footer appears in the PDF that you will export so I'll export go to export under the content tools and export the PDF for the whole space so I'll select the PDF click on next then I'll the page numbers and then export so let it convert it will take a few seconds seconds so now it has exported the whole space let me download the pdf and show you how it looks like so if i open that pdf now you will see that it has exported the the pdf and it has the title global title and then the page has the header and the footer right and now there there are the style sheet options as well i can style the pdf that is being exported so i can customize the style sheet with the css if you know css you can go ahead and update the css and the style of the pdf that is being exported you can highly customize it and make sure that it looks the way you want it to look in your project all right so that's how you will export any page within confluence so from the confluence how you will export a page to a word or pdf or you, how you can export the whole space within the confluence from the confluence into a PDF, XML or HTML. And we have also understood about the relevance of those export and how to update header and footer for the PDF export at the space level. One thing you also need to remember that these header and footer are only at the space level. So whatever settings that you do is for the export of the PDF of the whole space and not the pages. Okay. So if you are just exporting a single page in the in the PDF format, these title header and footer are not going to come there. Okay. So that's all for this tutorial on how to export the Confluence pages and spaces from Confluence. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.